What's up everybody? Uh, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do another fillet and release video and our focus today is going to be on the mighty sea bass. And uh, right here in front of me I got a couple of nice uh, keeper sized sea bass that I caught yesterday. And um, uh, what we're going to do with these guys is we are going to uh, fillet them out show you how easy it is. And essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to treat them like any other bony fish similar to uh, like a uh, 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 largemouth bass uh, or crappie, uh, which by the way, if you want to get a better explanation of that, check out my crappie fillet and release video. I'll attach a link in the description uh, uh, on this video. Look for the card above uh, and the screen, and uh, we're going to fillet, fillet them out the same way as crappie. Uh, we're primarily going to use a small fillet knife for this, and then we're going to switch over to a larger knife to skin them out. But feel free to use whatever knife you're comfortable with it, as long as it's sharp. Make sure your knives are sharp when you do this. So let's get started. Okay. Uh, I've gutted these guys out already just for a cleaner presentation, as you can see. Okay. Okay. So first, what you want to do is we're going to grab the, the, uh, the sea bass and we're going to make a cut right behind the head here open up the uh, pectoral fin cut right behind the head at a 45 degree angle towards the head and cut down all the way to the backbone I'm going to finish cutting right here through the belly All right. I'm going to flip this guy over and now what we're going to do is we're going to start right here and we're going to use the tip of the knife and we're just going to ride right along that dorsal fin just a little half inch in or so, quarter inch in, all the way to the tail. Okay, got those pre-cuts made. We're gonna flip this guy over. We're gonna do the same thing. Cut behind the head. Cut through here. And right here, where we just made our cut behind the head, stick it in about quarter inch, half inch or so. And you're just going to ride right along the dorsal fin all the way to the tail. Okay, clean off the scales. Now the reason why we do that is because if we just straight cut one fillet off, this fish is going to be too lopsided and it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to remove the second fillet. So we make these uh, pre-cuts first uh, uh, before we remove the, um, the fillet completely off. Okay, now that we've done the pre-cuts, let's remove the fillet off. And all we're going to do is we're going to start to open this guy up just start making nice little shallow cuts right down the spine. Now over here at the tail you can actually stick it through and release the fillet off the tail. Now we're going to open this guy up as we get to the spine, we're going to continue to just use the tip of the knife just to roll over the rib cage. Cutting through the pin bones right there. That's what that noise is. We're not cutting through the rib cage, cutting through the pin bones. Right there. And just ride down. the ribs and then finish cutting through there's a beautiful all white meat fillet right there and uh, already removed the uh, ribs the only thing we have to do here is skin it out and remove the few little pin bones that are here and I'll be good to go let's flip this guy over and do the same thing lift up with your thumb and then just start to cut down the fish rack. There we go. Once you get to the spine, just go over the spine and keep riding down past the ribs. And once you get there, you can just cut it away and remove that fillet. There we go. Put this aside. Okay. 
do it one more time and this time in uh, in real time all right behind the patrol fin cut behind that and the head 45 degree angle cut through flip it over start there at behind the head quarter inch in deep right down the dorsal fin flip them over behind pectoral fin behind the head 45 degree angle right behind the head a quarter inch dip uh, just using the uh, tip of the knife right down the dorsal fin and once we made the pre-cuts just right down the bone there the knife will always take the path of least resistance and it will just actually scrape along the bone get to the uh, rib cage keep riding over the rib cage you're gonna cut through the pin bones and then ride the tip of the knife over the rib cage and then remove the fillet turn it over do the same thing again Ride down the bone. By the way, some of you are probably asking, well, why not? Why don't I just do a straight fillet, you know, standard cut down and across the rib cage and then remove the ribs and all that? Well, the reason why is because I believe there's too much waste, and uh, these sea bass are uh, are all head and all bone, and uh, I think this method saves you um, the most amount of meat. That's why I choose this method. There you go, all white meat, nice filleted out fish. You can almost see through it and that's what you want right there. You almost want to see through it. That's how you know you've basically uh, gotten the most out of that. Put that over to the side. Let's clean up here a little bit. Next step is we're going to remove the skin. I like to use skinning pliers, not to skin the uh, fillet, to hold on to the fillet. This saves my knuckles and fingertips here. Hold on to the tail piece here uh, uh, of the skin, cut down, and then we're gonna ride the skin down. There you go. Beautiful little piece of meat right there. Skin aside. Okay, next one, same thing, grab the tip of the tail, cut down, and then ride down, uh, push with the knife and pull back on the skin, there you go, nice beautiful little fillets there, best, one of the best eating fish here in the northeast, black sea bass, look at all that white meat, okay, again, Push with the knife, pull back on the skin, remove that fillet. Last one. Cut down, right down the skin. There we go. Only thing left here is to cut out the uh, Y bones. I can feel them right here. There's a few little Y bones. Just gonna cut on one side. and then cut on the other and remove. That's one boneless, beautiful little filet right there. Whole white meat, can't get better than that. I'm gonna finish the rest of these up and uh, I'm gonna enjoy them 
for dinner. There we go, make that V cut. Feel them right here. There we go. Last one. Feel them right there. V cut. There it is. Boneless, skinless, beautiful, delicious black sea bass. Cut out this little, that little piece of bone here. There we go. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hope you learned something off that. Um, and uh, hope you give the video a like and give these guys a rinse. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. All that supports my channel, helps it grow. And uh, stay tuned for more. Let me know if you enjoy these uh, fillet and release videos. I will continue to make them, showing showcasing different species, freshwater and salt. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.